So I'm down here in a a cave, and I'm I'm pretty near bedrock. Uh, we'll just have a quick level, look at what level that we are on. We are on 14, and there's a pig down here. I mean, it's, I, I'm not entirely sure where this is. Um, down, getting some redstone because I was running a bit low, and I just kept following for this abandoned mine. I come into this huge lava thing that could be diamonds around here, hopefully. Haven't really had a look around. And then I just see this pig fall down, and I'm like, pigs should never be this close to redstone. Should you? No. So, yeah. That's pretty weird. What's that there? Anyway. Hmm. That's one adventurous pig. Where's he gone? I think you'll see him walking in there in a second. Hey guys, I'm Craft Bench and this is Craft Bench in Minecraft 22. Today's Monday and I am going to be doing a Minecraft Craft Bench in Minecraft every day from now till Minecon, so that's about five days. So, I've just been out mining off camera to collect some resources. I found a ravine, I found an abandoned mine shaft, found another ravine, and I hadn't even collected all of it because I just didn't have space. So, um, got some rails, found a dungeon, a spider dungeon. Um, found some um, cave spider place, which I've written the coordinates down so we can do stuff on them. Found a bunch of coal, needed some more redstone, some more iron, and just generally a bunch of stuff that uh, is needed. And there's that new that new noise to, for opening things. Takes a bit of getting used to, but there we go. Still don't have loads of redstone, but enough for now. Um, what else can we put in here? Flint. I think we'll put right there, power out there, the rails. And over here. Some gunpowder, some string. Better start turning that into, um, what's it called? Wool soon, which will be uh, good. I think we want to get back in here. And yes, there we go. Ah, okay, wool didn't go in there. Lapis, and that's more or less it. We can bring this out because we're going to do a bunch of smelting. So that can go in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Okay. So we're going to get plenty of iron. Because mining is my favourite thing to do in the game, so every now and then I just go on a mining binge and just mine. Okay. And there we go, we'll just put those back in there. Because they're not even enough for me to. And there we go. I think, where is it? That's charcoal, so it needs to be moved. And there we go. That's charcoal. Got some more laps I need to put in, which I forgot to put in. Some more of that. Some of that. There we go. So we've. Uh, where did it go? There it goes. Some more pumpkins in there. Put the lapis away. Um, take a iron sword. Where my torch? I swear I made loads of torches when I was in the mine. Oh well. We'll take that 16 charcoal and use it. Gonna need to harvest that tree farm a load soon because I'm just running really low on wood and there's no excuse to be low on wood when you have a tree farm because it's just so easy to get wood from there. There we go. So there we go, that was a pretty big haul and it was a, I think it's pretty good. So yeah, I have done a few things here like Think I don't think you saw me putting this table in. Maybe you did. I've done some black wool around here. Um, here. Just got bits and bobs. I've been collecting loads of chicken eggs. 
uh, I've spent loads of time just sat here, pressed E, just AFK, more I've been watching like films or doing something in the background, and I've got a bunch of eggs and more will hatch those one in a second, got to do list, put some yellow wool under the bed, um, mountain window room, we can successfully say we've done that, um, and so far we haven't done anything else. Got the uh, slime pump, which comes up here. I think I might have shown this. And that's just like a crusher, but this hasn't been working very much recently. Got the waterfall. Waterfall. Um, I think you guys have seen everything else. Apart from this. Whoa, secret room, eh? That's pretty insane. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was really fun to make, actually. And I did record me making that, so watch this speed build of me making and enjoy the music. And then we'll be back and we'll get on and do one of these to-do lists. We'll get on and do the sugarcane farm. So I'll get ready to get all my sugarcane stuff while you watch the speed build. So enjoy the speed build and I'll see you in a second guys. Okay, there we go, so, as you can see, it's all nicely cleaned up, and I've got all the wiring under there and around, all hidden in the hill, and you can see that sort of, that's not being collected under here or wherever it was anymore, and the mushroom farm, which was hidden behind there, it all sort of needs sorting out, which I will do off camera, but now we're going to do our sugarcane farm. So, I've got all the stuff we need, and I think... I want it so that I can choose whether to bring it here or whether I go up and harvest it manually. 
So what we'll do is we'll go upstairs next to our near our chicken thing. And we'll actually we'll take all these eggs up with us. We'll just take two stacks of eggs and we'll harvest them all, break them all, and see if we get any more chickens in, which would be quite nice if we got a few more chickens, because then we get a few more eggs and then it eventually just builds up so we'll have like a billion chickens in there. So let's uh, take 16. Take that out. One, two, three, four, four. Oh, three chickens. That's pretty good so far. Oh, even more chickens. If we get another chicken out of this one. Oh, that's brilliant. So we got five chickens now. I say we need more chickens. I've just realised that are these all clucking, it's going to make a really loud noise in the house. Oh well. I don't want to hit them, that's the thing. This one doesn't seem to be as good as the last. Oh, no. Brilliant. Oh, no, I, just, I just can't. Okay, there we go. So, that's... I don't think I'll put any more in than that for the moment. That's going to be laying a good amount of uh... Maybe I should have done that after I uh, was going to build the ream farm because now we're going to hear his chickens in the background. Um, what we'll do is we'll turn the sound off just while building this. It's going to sound a bit weird but that's okay. I'm going to block these off because without sound I'm not going to be able to hear when Monsters are coming up behind me, but I'm pretty sure this cave is well lit, en lit enough. So I'm just going to I think we'll put the sugar. Move these back down here. Move the sugar farm, sugar cane farm, to here. So let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll have it so that. I wonder if I sent it by one. So this will be the main stream down the middle. Oh, that sounds weird not having sound on. So what I'm going to have is I'm going to have it upraised by or down the ground. I'm going to have it so that so this is all dirt. The weeds grow up here. And then here, or not there, but here, I'll have pistons which come out. Yes, okay, so I'll clear the space out and then we'll uh, we'll be back after that. Okay, so I'm back and I've just quickly cleared up this space. Uh, looks quite nice, even though it hasn't been finished up yet. It's still got all this dirt and stuff. So what we'll have is we'll have this going like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Not in this one here, just long here. And then what we'll do is put this here that comes along here just like so it comes up to there which is uh, quite nice and what will happen is any of the bits which when they get pushed if they fall when they normally like fall just on the edge here this water stream will pick them up like uh, I can't I can't seem to get a, get a good example of it like you know when it just drops on the edge like that well this will pick them up and bring them down which uh, means it's really quite efficient not sure if it's 100% but it's pretty close okay so what we need are something I forgot to get sticky pistons I seem to forget those quite a bit in all of my projects so I'm going to have a piston here no it's going to be one back from that it's just going to be that's the piston that's the block when the piston's pushed out the block no piston goes there piston's pushed out the block gets pushed there Yes. So piston, piston, block, piston pushed out, block pushed out there. Okay. Yes. And then I'll have it so that that can either be collected here or put into this stream here. So. I'm going to get some glass. First of all, we can just change that to floor actually. Two, 
change out to sandstone. Don't worry about that coal, I've just been out collecting loads of coal. And even though this might not be a permanent design, I want to put sandstone there anyway. Oh yes, it does look nice. I do like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go get some pistons and some glass and we'll be ready. I should have got this all before, but I forgot. So I'll be right back. And we're back and the uh the sugar cane's already grown. That must show you how how long I've been uh, away smelting glass and stuff. So I'm actually just going to pick this all up so that it doesn't get in the way <clears throat> while we're um doing this. Sorry about my throat. A bit sore. Been doing a lot of talking today. So I want to go one, two, three. This takes up a lot of pistons for something which seemingly seems quite small, you know, just a small little sugar cane sugar sugar cane farm, but really it takes up quite a lot of pistons. It almost feels like a waste. <laughs> So then we're going to take our glass and just put it over this water so that none of the drops can fall into the water. Um, I'm assuming I can still place this here. Yep. Just going to put that there for now. And we'll just put dirt here for now. No, we won't its way because we need to do the wiring first. So I want the wiring so that if I put that there, it comes all the way to there. Okay. We'll have the water put one further back and we'll put a pressure there will be a pressure plate here. Haven't got any wood with me right now, but what will happen? Oh, silly me! Let's put this here so it's easy to indicate where it is. What will happen is we'll have redstone wire underneath this. I vaguely think we're going to need some repeaters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14. I think we're going to need 14 repeaters. So I'm just going to quickly uh, actually test how this is going to work in my test world, and then we'll be back. I'm not very organized this episode, guys. should have done all this off camera, but so you guys have to wait. We well, don't really have to wait. You have to wait a second cut, but anyway, see you now. Okay, guys, so I just quickly loaded up a creative world here and basically did the design of the chicken farm the chicken farm that I wanted for the sugar cane farm and kind of tried replicating our base uh, the ladders about here the chicken coops around about here so I wanted to make sure it tried not to interfere with that too much and I don't think it will interfere with the chicken coop too much but um, the chicken coop is something that we can move it's a bit of a bother but we can do it so here we go these all grown and I got this idea of Generic B, who is actually, uh, I am subscribed to him, he's a very good guy, and his video is called The Perfect 100% Automatic Sugarcane Farm, in brackets, no really, it's perfect, and whereas I might have not, I don't, I'm not sure, I didn't, um, it's not an exact copy of his design, um, a few things I've changed myself, the main thing which I got from his video is this stream coming down the middle here, and then this redstone's a bit differently, and I've hooked up a pressure plate, but uh, it could be the same as his, but it's all, there's only a certain amount of ways you can wire up all this redstone and you can't, I could, this could be a unique way or millions of other people could have done this. So anyway, I want to say uh, uh, thank you to him for that video, it's really nice of him and uh, just quick congratulations on hitting 2,000 subscribers, I was 2,000 subscribers of, of me making this, uh, so well done mate. Okay, so let's go and have a look at this, first of all just test it out, and we can see there that it looks like more or less every time. This is the second time I've tested it. And so far it's there's none in here. 
they're all being pushed into the middle, which is it's really good. So let's just quickly sleep. Oh, it was raining earlier, and I was like, I'm going to make sure that when I'm doing this, it's not raining. And I've got to make sure it's not dark. And I was like, oh, I can quickly do it before it gets dark. So, uh, sorry about this, guys. Okay, well, we'll just quickly do this. So basically, you stand on this, and that activates this and inverts the signal straight away. And this comes into this quickly thing here. Turns around, goes into that. Powers that block, which comes up. Powers all along here, and that doesn't power this. Goes into these repeaters, which power this block, which power that, which inverts that, which power this and that somehow. And then that pushes out here. So we can just go like this. And if what we'll do is we'll put a thingy pressure plate there instead. And we can see, come here. You can see how that all works, and then. See how that inverts, that will activates, that will invert, and those come on. Thus these will come out. Got a bit of glowstone there in the middle. And I've shown how I'm going to have that. So that's how we're going to have it in our base. So I'm just going to quickly note down how much dust and repeats we need, and we'll go back into our main base, uh, back into the main world, and we'll build it there. So I'll see you there now, guys. Okay, so we're back in our main base, and I've already started doing some of the wiring. Just this bit down here and linking up to there. And so far, this seems to have just been far enough away. Chickens are laying eggs like crazy. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just getting on and doing this. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed build me doing one side and then we'll just cut to me completed it. So yeah. There we go, so that seems to be working fine. I've got to admit, I kind of like the fact that you can sort of see the technical stuff behind that. I could always just put a solid block there, but I don't know, I kind of I like being able to see that. You know, you have those calculators in like Game Boys in the, back in the day, which was like made out of seafood plastic, so you could see all the uh, electronics inside. That's what it reminds me of. So uh, that's quite nice. So I'm just gonna do the other side, and we'll plant our uh, sugar cane, and we'll see it in action. There we go, I think it's all wired up correctly, seems so, yes. So now what we can do is we're going to quickly, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, this one here is we're going to have our bit of glowstone which will light up the whole, this whole area. It's lighting up quite nicely. We are going to use a bit of clean stone just to tidy the place up like here and at the back here. There we go. Oh, and here as well. Just put a torch down there. The ladder did come down here, so we are going to have to adjust. For the moment, it's not bothering we can get down here, but I'm going to figure out a transport system before getting down from a, that above room. Um, then I can just close all this off. Close this off here. And there we go. There, that's basically it, done. So we've just got a few finishing touches to do, like putting this in the ceiling. Maybe like that. Or no, I don't like that. Just put it like that. There we go. And we will just bring it out here as well by one. I think that's pretty much it. Do I actually just want to change this bit here? Here, 
even know we're not going to see it very much, but just so it has sort of like it also looks sort of like the Samsung is being integrated with it. Pshh, out it goes. So what am I gonna use for that? Probably just use uh let's go use some mossy cobblestone. Go. Knew I'd eventually get used to this, and we can't even see what I've done there, so pretty useless. <laughs> but oh well, done it now. It's done. There we go. So we can now we can just add our sugar canes in and let them grow. I will probably bring some grass in here, but I can do it off camera as I am actually running out of time to edit this video and upload it, considering I want to do one every day till Minecon. So I'm kind of actually rushing this a bit at the moment. <laughs> so that looks really good to me. Up here is coming along nicely. We've got our chicken, egg farm, sugarcane farm. And we'll start putting some more stuff around here. Probably just going to tidy this up off camera. But until then, it's alright. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do like. If you really did enjoy it, favourite it. If you have any ideas, questions, or you just want to chat about anything, please do leave a comment, as I really do love comments. And if you like my videos and you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe, as it really helps me out. And you'll see all my latest videos on your home YouTube homepage. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Grab bench. Have a nice day. Bye.